Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. My name is Eben and I'm your host and today is another exciting cold flow challenge at negative 50 degrees Celsius below zero. We got our AMSOIL anti-gel additive. This right here is amongst the best of the best products in the world. AMSOIL is the first in synthetic, first synthetic motor oil, API certified, first synthetic transmission fluid, first synthetic gear lube. We got Howell's Diesel Treat. This is a uh, diesel treat and lubricant. We treated these the same ratio. And uh, well, let's do it, here we go. We got our negative 49C. And we got negative 51. Here we go. All right, we'll be back in five minutes. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All right, we got the countdown timer counting down for five minutes, but I wanna show you behind the scenes what we got here. This is our AMSOIL, this is our HALS, and this is our baseline. So this is untreated with nothing in it. And this is our HALS diesel treat. And there's our AMSOIL. All right, we're back after five minutes. Negative 32. Our baseline, negative 37. Let's take a look. Huh, looks like we got a stick in the mud. And let's see our baseline. Let's see if that'll do anything. Nothing. Hey, if you're new to the channel, definitely go ahead and uh, slap that thumbs up button. That really helps out the channel. And share this video with a friend that's new to taking care of their vehicle. It'll really help them get them to learn how to take care of their vehicle so their cop will run longer and Steve longer. And now for our behind the scenes footage, we got our AMSOIL diesel cold flow anti-gel additive. What this does goes in the fuel and it keeps these little waxy, uh, waxy crystals from getting very thick and it actually thickens. It can clog your fuel pump, cause a bunch of problems. So this is everything about this additive. A lot of great benefits to it, and I've heard great results with it, so we're gonna be putting it to the test. This is our treat ratio, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be treating them identically. So we're gonna be putting two 1.25 milliliter little, uh, what you call like a pinch measure, and we're gonna be putting two of them, so that's 2.5 milliliters, in one liter, which is a thousand milliliters. So we're gonna give you the up close crack here. And that's gonna be very close to our treat ratio uh, of one ounce per five gallons. If you do the math, it's gonna be within about 10%. So uh, it's gonna be right there, pretty much where everyone added. And we got our bottle and uh, we used this on the last uh, cold flow test. You can see that up here in the corner where we did it last time. So here we go, we got our clean beakers. And we're going to go ahead and put our cap in here. There's one. And two. And now we're going to go ahead and wipe her off. And now we're going to go right into our house diesel treat. 
So we got our nice fresh bottle of Howl's Diesel Treat. This also has anti-gel and fuel lubricant. So this has that. And this one is quite a bit stronger. It says treat ratio of 160. So basically, actually they're exactly the same. I take it back. This one's good for 80 gallons, 16 ounces. This one's good for 160 gallons, but it's 32 ounces. So it's the same treat ratio. So we'll give you the up close crack. Right here, taco the lid, just like that. And we'll make sure it's, they're both mixed up. I shook them earlier, but we'll just make sure it's sh shook up. We're all good on that. And here we go. So we got our Howells diesel treat. This one's not gonna pour very good, so we're just gonna dip it in. See, we got our one and our I'm going to put a little bit more in just to make sure it's almost identical right there good all right all right and now we got our number two fuel which we got at chevron and now we just push this little lock down and now we push this in and fill her up one liter and this should mix it pretty good when we put it in which we can give it a little stir anyways And now we're going to put our baseline. This is going to be our untreated fuel. So we'll put our little beaker of that. All right. There's our untreated. All right, we're just going to give these a quick stir just in case there's any settlement at the bottom. All right, inside the cryogenic freezer we go at negative 50 degrees Celsius below zero. We'll stick in our baseline, cute little guy. And now I wanted to mention the next one we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing the diesel all-in-one and what makes the diesel all-in-one so great is it's got the cleaning ability, cleans the valves, injectors, and the carbon deposits inside the combustion chamber, lubricates, so it lubricates the fuel pump, which needs a lot of help. Sometimes it can get a little bit of buildup in there. Very important to keep everything lubricated. Cetane bump uh, up to, I believe, four points in cetane. And what that does is that gives better startability. It's gonna give you a little bit better towing power. You're gonna make more wheel horsepower. You're gonna have a cleaner burn, less pre-ignition. And another great thing about this is you're also going to have the anti-gel additive, which is mixed in there. Now you'll run this at twice as much as the Howells diesel treat and the diesel cold flow. So this one, you're gonna add a lot more, uh, basically one whole bottle per full tank on a normal diesel truck which is a full bottle, 40 gallons. And uh, I wanted to mention my favorite Amsoil fuel additive. That is the Injector Clean Plus Cetane. But I wanted to mention too, this one says right here on the bottle, improves up to 8% better fuel mileage. And I think there's a claim on this one, 
or maybe it's the other bottle. Uh, it's the other bottle, but uh, they do have a claim on that one. But I wanted to mention that these really do give a lot of punching power. And um, this is my favorite one that I've used on diesels. We've done a bunch of diesel trucks on the channel with this one. This one just doesn't have the anti-gel additive like this. But on this one and uh, a 7.3 liter Power Stroke, uh, one of the older Ford pickup trucks, Diesel Steve, we did an engine flush on his truck. We did this and he ended up going from I think 350 miles per full tank to 420 miles per full tank. So uh, 60, 70 more miles per, per tank per fill up. And this one, same thing, improves fuel economy up to 8%. And uh, this one's my favorite and I highly recommend this if uh, you're not where it's really cold and you wanna just make a lot more power, this one's a killer and uh, just love this one. And one other product that I highly recommend for winter time, it's called the Dominator Coolant Boost Tri-Tiered Surfactant Technology. What this does is allow the water molecules to get closer to the aluminum, pulls the heat out of the motor, goes into your fluid where you want it, not in the cylinders. It's gonna get you uh, a much faster warm-up time. This is gonna get you up to 50% faster warm-up time and that's when you're in straight distilled water. If you're putting it into a coolant mix concentrate, you're gonna get a little less than that, but you're gonna notice the heat coming out of your heater core is better. Um, you're just gonna notice everything is way, way better. And it also can lower your operating temperatures a little bit. You'll notice that. And uh, you'll just notice everything seems to run a lot smoother. And um, this is one of my all-time favorites. The only caution, you wanna make sure you add more every year or 30,000 miles is the chemical in this does break down. You don't have to change your coolant, but the physical surfactant chemical actually oxidizes and wears out. So you wanna make sure you replenish your, uh, your, your uh, system. And I run this in my car in the intercooler fluid, and I noticed a huge difference. And that's on the synthetic oil protection machine, which we'll throw a playlist up here in the corner. And that's AKA the synthetic oil protection. I call it the, uh, as a joke, I call it the Tesla Rodster but it's just a debadged SL550 Mercedes with the intercooler. And uh, this is for gas and diesel motors. And you'll notice a very impressive change in performance power and uh, just how well your vehicle drives. Hey, if you're new to the channel, definitely go ahead and uh, slap that thumbs up button. That really helps out the channel. And share this video with a friend that's new to taking care of their vehicle. It'll really help them get them to learn how to take care of their vehicle so their cop will run longer and Steve Ronger. All right, next up, we got the Amsoil Diesel All-in-One going up against the Diesel Fuel Support Power Service. This is gonna be a good challenge, so if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap that notification bell, you'll get a notification when we publish this next video. If you wanna see that video, click right here. If you want to see more cold flow motor oil tests, click over here and we will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.